What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and today I bring you a little bit of news regarding Season 4 before Season 4 actually lands. But before we get into that people, if you want to win some V-Bucks, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked and contacted via direct message on a weekly basis, so good luck everybody okay so season four is about to start if it's not already started if it has this video will be pretty much pointless to you if it hasn't well this will be new information to you so firstly after you've downloaded the version 4 patch update you will be welcomed with a new menu screen as you can see this on screen now so what do we have here well it looks like to be my biggest fear and that is rip off characters of the original we know of we seem to have a fake ass looking Black Iron Man and a fake ass looking white Nick Fury. Although Nick Fury was originally white, they changed him not long before the release of Iron Man 1, I believe. Now I posted a video yesterday talking about how Fortnite's parent company Tencent already owns a DC license for their game called Strike of Kings. I was seriously hoping such a license would have been obtained for Fortnite. That would have been absolutely great indeed, as I don't want a whole theme of rip-off characters. I mean, that just doesn't sit right with me. I mean, I won't back out now, I just feel a whole season based off character rip-offs just isn't what this is all about. Maybe one rip-off character is fine, but a whole host of them? Well, that just sucks in my opinion. Now, nobody to say that's what's going to happen here. Maybe Fortnite are hiding something up their sleeves. Maybe the characters they bring us won't be ripoffs at all. Just cool designs they've made. That would be pretty epic. I'm pretty sure we'd all agree on that. Now, looking at this title screen, though, and these two new characters, I'm pretty much certain no DC license was obtained. The first teaser image we had most for was the Flash. But in fact, it was nobody but this black dude in latex we see right here on the screen. But still though my hopes are super high for this season and I do think it will be great nonetheless. So we're going to move on and if you have the mobile version of Fortnite read through the update details. It states season 4 is starting off with a bang. The comet has crashed and brings new locations to explore. Jump in and witness the aftermath of the impact while you level up your battle pass and earn new loot. It also states Hop Rocks, which I believe is a new limited time game mode. The comet has left a mark on the island. Visit the crater and you'll find glowing rocks all around. Consume them and lift off with low gravity. Now low gravity was a game mode data mined a while back and I speculated something like this would happen when that comet did eventually hit the map. So I expect this new game mode to either be a part of this update or to come later on today. I honestly can't wait guys, a low grab mode will be super fun, floating about the place sounds absolutely epic. Also guys, a quick last note, a trailer has been leaked for season 4 of Fortnite, which I can't show you guys within this video, but I will link it within the video description if you do want to check it out. It doesn't show much, but it is pretty cool and it's definitely worth your time taking a look at. But on that note guys, I am out. Just a quick video for your enjoyment while we wait for season 4. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Fortnite videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand